Hello everyone, Complete Indy here, and welcome to Battle of Wits. So, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is coming out soon, and to celebrate, I'm making a Battle of Wits deck. For context, this set's commander was difficult to decide. In fact, I even created decks for both Kodama of the West Tree as well as Satoru Omezawa, and I was about to build one for Tameshi Reality Architect, but for today's video, I went with the absolute best candidate in my opinion, Satsuki the Living Lore. A 2-mana green-white Khmer that can put a lore counter on all your sagas multiple times, and when she dies, you return a saga from your graveyard or battlefield to your hand. Now, ever since Dominaria, I've wanted a saga Khmer, but for one reason or another, I had a hard time finding one I liked. With Satsuki, I have to now. This is an awesome card, it's really neat. Here we go. Starting us off, we're running almost all of the sagas available to us in Greenway. We have not only all the old sagas from the past, Triumph from Jared, Fall of the Imposter, Else of Conquer's Death, to name a few, but we're also running all the new Kamigawa Double Face sagas, befriending the Moths and Teachings of the Kirin as an example. Now, to ensure we draw those sagas, there's some decent card draw in the deck. We have numerous things that draw us cards when we cast enchantments or when they have the mentor, like Eidolon of Blossoms, Seder Enchanter, and Mesa Enchantress, as well as things that seek out specific cards like Benefaction of Ronus and Board the Wetterlight itself. There's also cards in the deck that can search for sagas like Moonblessed Cleric, Search for Glory, and Plea for Guidance. But now we need actual payoffs for our sagas. Cards like Sigil of the Empty Throne, Archon of Sun's Grace, and Nihilus Colossus take advantage of our sagas entering the battlefield, and cards like Starfield Mystic, Faith Healer, and Martyr's Bond take advantage of them leaving. From there, we also have things that count the number of enchantments we have, such as Helm of the Gods, Fear of Safety, and all that glitters as good examples. While we can speed up our sagas with cards like Evolution Sage and the new Story Weave, as well as copy the triggers with things like Strionic Resonator and the new Weaver of Harmonies, we can also reset them to get more triggers with cards like Feralpeed, Flicker, and Stun Disappearance. We also have cards that can get back our sagas. While Tsatsuki can do it herself, we also have Resurgent Belief, Brought Back, and Hall of Heliod's Generosity, as well as cards to remove our opponent's stuff like Cleansing Meditation, Crossing Grip, and Nature's Claim. Finally, for mana, we have both cards to make our sagas cheaper, like Herald of the Pantheon and Jukai Naturalist, as well as legitimate ram spells like Sanctum Weaver, Cultivate, and Myriad Landscape. With all of those cards mixed together, we get a moderately powerful green-white saga deck that comes up to under $100. A link to the deck on Moxfield is available in the description below, and I hope you enjoy playing it. I've wanted to build sagas properly since Dominar, even trying to build an awful Joyra saga deck back in the arena closed beta when they were new. But now I can finally make the deck I've wanted to for years, so here's to hoping you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to ring the little bell to stay up to date on notifications, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you all soon. Ciao.